All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Shah, Bahashem, the Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and have taught us this truth. And also peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out here living truth and sincerity in the four corners of the earth under the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, And as you see, it's a portion of the GMS Boston camp coming again uh, for our weekly address, all right, our Tuesday sit down. And um, we're just going to go into uh, some articles, you know, various topics. All right. And we're just going to kick it off with the first article. All right. Because once again, you know, uh, the things that's happening in the world is leading to a time uh, like never before. All right. So what has to uh, come about is iniquity being pushed forth on, on, on a heavy, on a, on a large scale. All right. But you got to Yakalam, bring out the first uh, article. On uh, going into RT News. We're going to speak on um, what's been going on in the news right now with the whole um, probe into the road versus way, which basically goes into a woman being able to get an abortion and it being um, funded by the government. So the article, I just had it. Um, hey, real quick. Can I get a start off with a precept? Yeah, uh, yep, call and back off you. Uh, Isaiah 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Con, uh, it says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And who, who has the power to write those laws into play? It's Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right, the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right, and what he's doing, he's passing forth these unrighteous decrees in, 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 in ways that are adverse to that ways of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, in the scriptures. All right, because the scripture talks about be fruitful and multiply. But what Esau Edom is doing is giving the woman the liberty, giving women the authority, the power to, 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 to abort children. All right, which is uh, going against the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, going against the ways of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right, we got it out. Karnak, it says right here that unrighteous decree, Roe versus Wade, 14 U.S., was a landmark decision of the U.S. Supreme Court in which the court ruled that the Constitution of the United States protects a pregnant woman's liberty to choose to have an abortion without excessive government restriction. So once again, the brother was showing how they promoted what was opposite of what the Lord had established with us being uh, fruitful and multiplying. And, right. um, yep. Don Kong, you're right about that because, you know, the script, that's why the scripture referenced these women as to ostriches, all right, who have no care for their young, all right, because that's the mindset that uh, Esau Edom has pushed forth on our women, especially you so-called black, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole uh, Indians, all right, you, you nigger women, all right, uh, because, you know, that, that women's liberation uh, was, was, was pushed for the, the decline of the Israelites, all right, it was pushed for the decline of our people, all that's right. right. Uh, changing the uh, changing the order of, of the household, all right, and just making and, and once the order is all messed up, you know what's going to come from it is chaos, all right. And this is why that these women now they 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 they're fighting for that the 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 the, the opportunity or f fighting for that uh the right to abort their child because they just want to live carelessly, as the scripture said. You got it. Kind of if I if I may mention, you know, as as you as you mentioned, um. You know, the Lord told us to be fruitful and multiply, but, you know, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked and the wicked are uh, are confederate with other nations to keep us from not knowing who we are, for not following the law, statute, commandments and, and knowing um, our power. Yahweh Bashim So uh, I have a quote and this is from uh, Barbara Marx, uh, Marx Hubbard. I believe she's one of the co-founders of uh, Planned Parenthood, you know, and she quoted and she's an Edomite, you know. Uh, one fourth of humanity must be eliminated from the social body. We are in charge of God's selection, selection process for planet Earth. He selects, we destroy. We are the riders of the pale horse, death, and and we know uh, they're really the uh, the red horse. You know that have the power to to, to kill and to, and and take peace from the Earth. But this is her mouth speaking. Uh, She's coming out telling who she are, who she is, you know, like the brother mentioned, as the scripture says, the Lord wants us to be fruitful and multiply. And these uh, these damn devils are coming up with schemes and and, and snares to 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 cut us from being a nation, man. You know, right. uh -huh. and even when you go back to the book of Genesis real quick, 
you know, as, as Eve ate of that fruit, you know, and she was uh, deceived by the serpent. It's the same uh, same concept that took place upon our women. All right. They took part of the philosophies of Esau, Edom, the wickedness. All right. And this is the results that we have today. All right. And I got a quick precept. This is Isaiah 32 and, and verse nine. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters, and give ear unto my speech. All right. And you got to think about it. These women nowadays, they, they, they're at ease. All right. They have help. They, they can go to Esau Edom for help, government assistance, food stamps, whatever, you know, uh, Esau Edom comes to their rescue. You know what I'm saying? When, when, whenever any type of uh, situation fall upon them. All right. But guess what? What's coming upon these women, all right, is going to be harsh times, right? It says, many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless woman, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. So that snare that Esau Edom had laid out is going to be revealed. All right. It's going to be revealed and they're going to know that they was played. All right. Why? Because at the end of the day, all Esau Edom was doing, all the wicked was doing, was uh, further pushing you away from your how about Shemel Shah, further, further in your destruction. All right. Sealing, sealing your faith, which is going to lead to death. All right. All right. All right. It says um, verse 11. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled. Ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats and for the pleasant fields for the uh, fruitful vine. All right. So yeah, that's it. That's it on that. But it says uh, they shall lament for the teats, which is talking about the the the, the um once against the assistance that they're having. All right, they're getting. All right, they're gonna cry for it when it, when it gets shut off. Just like how right. they, they, they like with this um with this abortion law that they fighting for that they they trying to uphold. All right, once that right. get cut, it was certain states already cut it. All right, certain certain states already did away with it, and you have an uproar in that field in that in that area. You know, right. um, if I can add too, brother, that goes back to Esau um, falling upon his own trap and snare because mm -hmm. the reason why Esau uh, uh, made these laws, going back to Margaret Sanger, I think the brother brought out uh, Barbara uh, Marx Hubbard. Um, but when you go back to Margaret Sanger, her whole thing was, you know, eugenics and depopulation, primarily of so called Black, Native Americans, and Hispanics. So they implemented these programs. Um, with, with the full intentions on destroying Yasha Allah. But then they seen that their own women were falling upon that trap and snare. They were going to get abortions and, you know, their, their population growth, you know, went into the negatives. Mm -hmm. right? and, and, and as much as they tried to kill us, you got to understand that was a promise that was given Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that our seed would multiply as the uh, sand uh, of the sea and of the stars of the heaven. So, you know, they, they tried to put that sneer upon us and now they realize that it, it backfired. It's not working because their women are getting abortions and that's the only reason why they're trying to, you know, uphold this. It's not because they're golly. It's not because they care about the laws of the heavenly father. It's, it's because they're trying to reverse what they had started, but it's too late. That's right. Carlock, man, if I may add, um, because you mentioned Margaret Singer and this is from the Planned Parenthood, which we know, you know, it goes deeper into, you know, um, William G. sitting on that board and passing down those same philosophies to uh, Billy to um, Killgate. But uh, this is says that since we're on the topic of Roe vs. Wade, 44 million abortions since 1973's Roe vs. Wade Supreme Court ruling, 19 million were black babies were aborted. African Americans are just under 13 percent. Huh? Yeah, con. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. You got it. Oh, and it says that um um African Americans are just under thirteen percent of the United States population. And to show you how the Lord is those 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 snaps and trees, um traps and snares are falling upon them. It says white women are five times less likely to have an abortion than black women. And this was from two thousand and eleven. Yo, it's 2022. Notice they don't want to update that information. <laughs> they don't want to yeah. update that information. Yeah, if I mean because as you can say, real um, real um, quick, Charles, while you had that Edomite performer that just recently said she was on tour and went to a Planned Parenthood. She got pregnant while on tour and went and got an abortion because she went to a Planned Parenthood clinic and got a pill. So that should show you something. Yeah. But if it was a Jake woman, she would be all type of ghettos. She would have Ten. all different um yeah. 
It says, let the wicked fall into their own nets whilst the eye with all escape. Let the wicked fall in their own nets. Yeah, the, the traps that they lay for us, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna uh, ultimately fall into it. All right, and that's what's happening. Right, real quick, you have mentioned something, Yakalam, about the date, right? The the year. Um, you want to read that again? Because I got something. Yep. Um, you said um, yeah, it was like 1970. I believe you read something about that. Come on, let me. Uh, I had clicked off of it, so I locked oh, it. Nice. It's all good. I can read this real quick. It says, the women's liberation movement, movement was a political alignment of women and feminist intellectualism that emerged in the late 1960s and continued into the 1980s, primarily uh, in the in industrialized nations of the Western world, all right, which is America, which is on this side, right? It says, which affected great change, political, intellectual, and cultural throughout the world, all right? So they're going to uphold it as some great thing, but it, in all actuality, it wasn't, all right? It wasn't, and this is what we have today that stemmed out of that with the brothers reading, all right? Because the women have uh, uh, the right to, 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 to do what they want, you know? It, uh, what is it? My, my, my body, my choice. That's it, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that all stemmed from that, t uh, uh, from, once again, that, that women's liberation, li liberation movement, all right? But um, I got a I got another article real quick. Oh, so like hey, before I do that, no, nah, go ahead, bro. You can. I mean, mention uh, a few years back there was this uh, lady, uh, either my lady, and she was making a petition for more uh, white males to uh, have sex with more women, uh, white women, to continue their their the the seed, you know, for to continue their nation because they realized they were having a low birth rate, they uh, a lot of uh, opioids crisis. You know, you have uh, more suicide rates. And this is ultimately from, uh, uh, quote unquote, Caucasians, you know, but we know that's Esau, Edom, the wicked. And as the scripture says, and uh, I believe Deuteronomy, the curses shall fall upon themselves. That's you know, right. if I can get that real quick. Oh, you got it. What's that? Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, right? Yep. Yeah, Khan, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You know, so right now you're seeing the deteriora deterioration of the nation of Esau because ultimately it's the Lord putting them curses. You know, they persecuted uh, 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 Jacob. They furthered the affliction and had a sin. And part of us sinning is having and, and receiving curses and the curses is having an evil eye towards our brother, uh, our women, you know, and now. Uh, and now it's falling upon them because ultimately it's it's a time of, of of balance of the heavenly Father, the judgment putting the curses on the wicked, you know. And there's nothing they can do to upset prophecy, you know. They have to go. They have to now uh, experience that low birth rate. They have That's to right. fit, uh, experience the curses now because the Lord is like in Lamentations four and twenty one. He's removing that uh, uh, slavery, that cup of of, of um. Of indignation from off us, man, and now putting it upon the, um, our enemies. Man. That's right. I got something yeah. to back you up. This is Galatians 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh Bahashim al Shah is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All right. And once again, you know, their whole uh whole uh gripe was against the most high. Everything that the most high had ordained to be good, you know, Esau had turned it upside down. I believe that's in the scriptures as well. Um Certainly, your things are uh, uh, turning the turn. things upside down. Baba Kishar, if you want to get it, you know, they want they turned everything upside down, which that's why we call him Satan, all right? Uh, the physical counterpart of Satan, because the word well, like, actually, yeah. means to be adverse, all right? And, and, and to be adverse of the ways of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. So, guess what? The Lord is, is now, uh, 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 you know, bringing that judgment upon him, all right? Because of what they're doing, they're striving against the Most High in Yahweh Bashim al Shah and his people, all right? You got it, Doc. Karnak, this is the book of Isaiah 29 and 16. It says, Surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the part of clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? And exactly. That's the mindset of Esau Edom, right? It says, uh, for, for, for shall the work say of him that made him, which is the Most High, he made me not? Or shall the things framed say? Say of him that framed it, he had no understanding, and it's the same mindset that these women carry today. All right, mm -hmm. showing that philosophy is being pushed 
on a large scale to the point where now not it's just it's not just only happening in the western uh countries it's happening on the eastern countries all right it's, it's being it's being pushed forth throughout the four corners of the earth now all right you got it bro Hanuk, if I may add, was that next article you going into had to do with this, or you was going into a different? Uh... Oh no, no, I was gonna go to a different one. You got something though? Yeah, hey, yeah, like, messages from uh, um, First Timothy. Oh, yeah. so, so like it. We'll get back to it. Bad, oh, oh, um, I was just gonna bring out First Timothy five and six because it says, "But she that liveth in pleasure is uh dead, while she uh she uh, liveth," and that's what it really goes back to amongst these um amongst these females, so I'll lock you for the stuttering, that they want to live in pleasure. Hence, you know, the example that I shared with the woman that's on tour, this is what it comes down to. They want to live in pleasure, but not deal with the responsibilities of having to raise a child at that point. So they just rather figured, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll go, you know, it's my body, my, my uh, choice. And all my choice. Yeah. Yeah, the, modern, the modern woman mindset. All right. And that's what we have to destroy. And that first comes with the bringing down of Esau Edom, all right. You got to destroy. You got to destroy the root. You got to get rid of the, the the core of the problem, the foundation right. of the problem, which is Esau Edom, because he's the one that pushed forth this uh this whole philosophy. He's the the, the driving force of that 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 wicked mindset. Yeah, that's right? the, he's the he's the center of that cup going forth throughout the four corners yeah. of the earth. So exactly. you got to get rid of the 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 main disease, man. You know, pushing this as a, a, a good thing is, is actually evil into the eyes of the Heavenly Father. And we know, as according to Isaiah 5 and 20, if, real quick, if, if somebody can get it, I got you know, you. yeah, real quick, man, it, it's just the, the wicked are, are, are doing everything contrary to the righteousness of the Heavenly Father and his, and his words, and he's making it the new normal. So now Jake or everybody around the world think that this is actually right, but it's actually it's wicked to the eyes of the Heavenly Father. That's right. This is Isaiah 5 and verse 20. Woe unto, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Con, woe unto them that call evil good. And this goes back to the scripture we started off the lesson with, Isaiah 10 and um, 1. You know, woe unto them that, on, on, that write unrighteous decrees. They have that power that the Lord has given them to make uh, uh, evil good as a good thing, you know. And then when we speak about uh, against it, or we're telling you the righteous way. We're looked at as 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 fear mongers or, or evil people, man. And that just shows that the wicked that has to be removed. Destruction has to come upon them. You know? Hey, Carl, man, if I... Well, I, I, was, I got a little bit more on that real quick. It yeah, says, um, verse twenty one. It says, "Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight." Mm. Hey, that's the characteristic of Esau Edom right there. All right, that proud, you know. That arrogancy, all right. That the, the whole thing is that they're mightier than the heavenly father, or what the heavenly mm -hmm. father had created, uh, they can do better. That's why they even uh to, to, to move forward into into what we read um when you read Revelation the 13th chapter, it's talking about uh uh transhumanism, all right, uh linking uh AI with men, all right. That's right. That's, that's 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 basically them. Going into a whole, uh, uh, thinking that they can make a whole new model of man in 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 a, in a, in a, in a so-called perfected way, which ultimately that's not that's not how it's done, and that's not how you're going to become perfect, because anything that's created by man is going to be flawed, <laughs> unless it's a, 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 of Yahweh Shemel Shah. Well, uh, can I say? I got you. Go ahead, talk y'all. Yeah, let me see this real quick. You know, it, uh, it says the most high doesn't dwell in temples made with man's hands, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when we look at that, we always say it's a building of of sorts, right? Mm -hmm. But your body is also a temple, right? And this this thing that he got going on with this transhumanism, uh, making girls into boys and boys into girls and, you know, all this scientific pseudo madness that he got on got going on right that means anything that this man makes it's going to be wicked why because it's not fashioned in the way that yahweh shem yahweh shai made it when you go into i think it's in the uh the apocrypha how the lord explains how the human body is made a spot going forth first then after that the bones and everything else come together, but he's he's talking about it in the way of in the birth bag, 
and it's it's done through him. And no man can structure that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the way that, that Esau is doing it, when his hands get put on anything, it's defiled. It's done. Huh. That's right. back you up. That's why Esau Edom, they got uh, <coughs> those incubators now where they can, uh, yeah, they yep. can create, uh, have children being born without a woman. All right. Yep. You know, they take the sperm and, and however they put it in these incubators and, all, and then next, you know, a child is developed. Artificial right. wounds, yeah. Uh, artificial wounds. And, and once again, hey, this is why Yahweh Bashim Al is going to judge this place. All right. Uh -huh. And he's going to bring forth harsh judgment because that right there is, is, is one of many reasons all right, why, 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 you know, it's, it has to go because it's, it's basically, uh, -huh. uh it's, it's evil on the next level. All right. In uh -huh. the ancient time, in the ancient time, they was doing wickedness, <laughs> but it, it, the wickedness haven't even amount to what is happening in this day and age. And that's how you know this is the last days, man. <laughs> because he said that, you know. Go ahead, bro. So, no, no, not to put your wisdom, Pop, but that's also a big indicator of who is the son of perdition in these yeah. latter days, man. He's that's trying right. to be like the Most High. Yeah. Like the brother Karab said, Esau always trying to challenge the Most High and come up with a way that he feels that the Most High didn't perfect it. He thinks huh. he could perfect uh, the Lord's creation and do it better. So, hey, this is an indicator of who is the wicked that the Bible is talking about, man. Who is the devil, man? Who is the deceiver? You know, right. the son of perdition. Hold on, man. If I may add, Karab, because um, you have mentioned, um, in which you was reading in Isaiah as well, in the back, Taziah, woe unto them that call um, evil good and good evil. Because when you go to the law, the law says that thou shalt not kill. Now, they released a video that showed you a minute that that sperm enters, it's like a spark of light, going back to what the brother's saying. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how many weeks you are into an abortion, you're basically killing a life that the Lord put inside of you. This is why, going back to those unrighteous decrees, they try and tell you that, oh, well, the baby's not formed yet. The baby didn't develop yet. Or some, they'll even abort up to, what, four, four, four fucking months after yeah. something is formed. So, so it goes back to what both you brothers were saying in in the scripture about wanting to them that call um evil good and good evil. Yeah, basically that's murder. I'm molten, yeah. Yeah, that's scripture murder. Says, Thou shalt not kill. Yeah, because we know in the Hebrew it's the murder. There is such thing as, as righteous kill, you know, because, you know, if it, a, a man sleep with, with a man, he shall surely be put to death. So that's also killing, but there's a righteousness. But how the brother's saying, that's wickedness, you know. You making the decision to, to remove the sperm out of your body, whether it's one week, two weeks, or four months down the line, that's genocide or killing our, our, our nation, man. And there's been stats that came out that, you know, the black woman has killed more black, uh, quote unquote, blacks, uh, Israelite men than gang violence. And you know everything else, man. And that's 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 part of that that wine that infected uh, the women of our nation, man. To thinking that oh, it could be justified because it's only two weeks or a month down the line, man. You no, know, it's killing our nation, man. And the Lord is furious, you know. That's, that's right. why He has a controversy with this place, as according to uh, Hosea four one. There's no truth, there's no mercy, and no judgment of the heavenly Father because Esau has completely removed. Uh, the law, statute, of commandments, remove the the Most High, and he's trying to sit in the throne like he is the Most High. You know what's that? Uh, Second Thessalonians. You know, uh, some real quick. I want to look on the screen. Because you you mentioned about the semen, but check this out. This is once again. This is, hey man, it's reaching new heights, right? This is um from CBNnews.com. It says ACLJ warns. Proposed Maryland Senate bill could legalize infanticide, infanticide up to 28 days after birth. All right. So so it's basically pushing. And look what we've mentioned. In preparation for a possible U.S. Supreme Court ruling that could overturn Roe versus Wade this summer, Maryland is the latest state to try to trying to enshrine abortion access into its state's constitution. Right. Uh, it says, um. Two bills before the state legislation legislator aims to do that just that. House Bill 1171 titles Declaration of Right, uh, rights to re, uh, rights to reproductive liberty, is a proposed amendment to the Mary, Maryland Constitution that would establish that every person as a central component of an individual individual's rights to liberty and equality has the fundamental right to reproductive liberty, prohibiting that 
prohibiting the state from directly or indirectly denying, burdening, or ab abridging the right unless justified by a compelling state interest uh, achieved by the, la the least restrictive mean. If passed by the legislature, Maryland, Marylanders would vote on the, the proposed amendment in the general election this November. Hey, you know they, they really want this to be in Baltimore. You know, it said Maryland, right? Yep, yep, yeah. yep. It's going to be in Baltimore, the DMV. That's where Jake is really at, man. You know? That's right. And again, they use that because Jake women be like, oh, I don't want to get tied down. Or I'm not ready. You know what I'm saying? They use this to ultimately promote even more adultery. You know? And, and it's just all type of wickedness that comes with this unrighteous decree. And we know that Esau is targeting our people and our women, man. You know? Yeah, check, check this out, right? I'm going to jump down real quick. I'm going to highlight this part right here. It says, the ACLJ Associate Council also cautioned, since the bill's language is not clearly defined, the measures could prevent any investigation into the death of an infant at least seven days after their birth and may extend to infants as old as four weeks. That's fucking crazy, man. So, so basically, they, 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 they pushing for abortions after the child is Boom. born. <laughs> you know, what's the child is out breathing. The first thing when the child is brought forth uh, comes out the womb, you know, it's crying. So it's, it, you, you know clearly that it's, it's living, all right, unless it's a stillborn, but the, the child's living. So once again, that's murder, man. That's 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 the straight, you know. Hey, 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 not to cut you off, man. That's, hey, it's nothing new under the sun, man. You think about when um Pharaoh made the decree to kill all the firstborn of Israel, you yeah. know, even King Herod. To, uh, to to kill all the Israelite boys, man. It's just nothing new under the sun, man. I know they're not targeting just boys, but ultimately they're targeting the nation of Israel, man. You know, so okay. there's nothing new. And we're in the worst, like the brother mentioned, this uh, captivity or this kingdom is the most wickedest. And they got technology, all types of shit to try to destroy us, man. That crafty council is, is real, man. And, you know, this is this is what we have to uh, uh, give warning to our people to not fall for the snares and the, 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 the tricks of these devils, man. They come with smooth words. They come with, oh, we, we could take care of your problems. But again, war is in their heart, you know. That's right. This is Exodus 1 and verse 15. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives of, of which the names of one of, was uh, Sapphira and the, and the name of the other was Pua. It says, and he said, when you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stool, if it be a son, then you shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. And so we know that because the 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 seed of a, of a boy or a man, excuse me, continues the nation. Yep. You know, as as to uh, numbers one and eight, you have the pedigree from your father, man. So that's why important uh, having a son is a blessing as well. When you're a man, you will continue your lineage. So so these devils know, man. Huh? Continue, and, my, my and, love. And not not that's that's perfect that you say that because what happens? Why why would they want the women to live so they can give them? A captive mindset, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To put push their ways upon them, you know what I'm saying? So that, yeah, they just showed them. And just like you mentioned earlier, what happened with Eve, mm -hmm. you know, in Genesis, man, that Esau as a serpent, you know, he came and gave him a, 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 that wand, gave her that wand, you know what I'm saying? And she was yeah. easily manipulated. Uh, Hold on, man, yeah. to back you up, man, but um, before you finish reading that, also as well, like having a woman as captives and getting in their mindset. You won't have a nation of women rise up against you, but you will have a nation of men that will oppose you and rise up against you. So it makes sense as well. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I got I got a precept. Oh, you know, I gotta find it real quick. You was gonna um say something to y'all? I got I got a clip to uh to show real quick. And you can put it up, but it goes right into <clears throat> what this brother Tyler War said, right? About uh why would they put that in the DMV, right? And I put it, I put it up so you can grab it. All right, come on, come on, man. And as you grab that, um, African so 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 called black or African Americans make up over sixty three percent of the population in Baltimore. See, yep. See, now that clip, that clip goes right along with what. Was born in the United you. States under a hard doctrines of racism with the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in, uh, in the African-American community. I'm, I'm, I'm rerun it from the top. It's a lucky about that. 
Hey, their tongue shall fall upon themselves, man. Mm -hmm. in the United States under hard doctrines of racism with the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah in uh, after the African American community in this country. <laughs> with the intent of eliminating the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Judah, <laughs> and to eliminate them. That's why she formed Planned Parenthood was specifically to kill African American, uh, you know, black Americans. That's why she did. Genetics was a movement that was born in the United States under him. Call out, um, yeah, man, this is the book of Psalms 64 and 8, because you mentioned it. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Hey, man, nothing that's hid shall, uh, nothing shall be hidden. You know, it's eventually will come to the light, roughly paraphrasing. And we know, you know, they're targeting Judah. And we know as the scriptures, Judah is the, the main tribe that sets the trend. All the other tribes follow, you know. So this is for the Latin women, you know, the Native Americans. Hey, sure. they have the leisure to go to Planned Parenthood, to go take that Plan B or to do, you know, to, to follow after the ways of Esau, man, because they're easily manipulated, man. So this is this is a trickling down effect on, on our nation, man, you know. Uh, hey, real quick, I have a quick preset. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 12 and verse uh, 29. Let me start up. I'm going to start up. Now, I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 29. It says, or else, or else how can one enter into the strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house? Mm, All right. So. so you got to get you got to get rid of the men in order to, 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 to take control uh, 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 of, of, of a nation, man. That's right. Okay. That's why that's why when we went to war in the ancient time, you know, you got rid of you. You know, you get rid of the men. Even the women that was married that, that had husbands, you got rid of them. But what you keep the women and, and the children, uh, uh, the women for sport, all right. And the children go into captivity, all right. We're showing you that's how it always been played out, even to this very day, because they know that they know that the men is the the, the, the where where the power comes from. Huh. Right? That's what's people. happening. That's happening over there in the Ukraine right now, as we speak, too. You know. With those Russian soldiers, they're going in there and they're <clears throat> taking the women as spoils, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm pretty sure after when they leave, there be uh, plenty uh new babies, so to speak. You know, mm -hmm. even though they didn't, they, those guys are doing it in wickedness, but it's a law to that as well. You know, when you take the captives of another nation's yep. women, <clears throat> you know, which is a whole nother show in itself, but that's all right. Man. They're showing you how wicked Esau is. He gets down wickedly, man. And just from you hearing that statement that this guy saying, you know, it goes back to uh, what is it? Second Corinthians. Uh, we're not ignorant. Yeah, yeah. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, you know? I got you. Uh, Second Corinthians 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, so we know what contraceptives are good for. We need to put these little uh, what do what do they call those things? Y'all can learn. <clears throat> and the woman, I, um, the, I, um, the uh, oval rings, the IUIDs, uh, uh of yeah. yeah, the oval rings. Some Ashes. some women call them frogs and stuff like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But they what they do is they they damage the reproductive system of a woman. All those drugs reproducing kids after that is, you know, almost null and void. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, even even like the birth control shots. When you notice a lot of women blow up after they switch the whole yeah. hormones, it changes yep. the whole hormones and everything. And women after after a while of being on it for so long, like you said, later on, eventually they have a hard time even bringing forth children because their their body's so used to them being on that on that shot. All right, yeah. but again, that's that's wickedness, man. Yeah. Like, like the body. most of most of the women I know that get those depot shots, they blow up, man, mm -hmm. and then they look grotesque, and men don't want to touch them. Then you know, so that's one thing that you know, Esau. You got to understand. <clears throat> Can you get that scripture for me, brother? The the heart is deep. Yep, yep, yep. And who who shall know? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You got to understand this. This man, he he records information. He searches out information. He's, he's like a mad scientist walking through the earth. 
he wants to see the results of things happen. And mm -hmm. on, you know, when he first started his experiment, he takes it gradually. That's going to do this. This is going to do that. You know, so on and so forth. So with them taking those depot shots, like I said, it, they make the, the human body of a woman. Let me say that. The, the woman anatomy grotesque. Okay. That's right. And you don't want to touch it. You got to understand that when eggs are supposed to drop every month, them eggs are supposed to drop. If she's not dropping eggs, what's happening to them? They're getting reabsorbed into her body, yeah. making her body more toxic and poison. Foul, foul stench. Stench, yeah. everything. And the bloated. That's why the stomach's sticking out like she's pregnant, but she's not really pregnant. You see? you see nothing. Esau's the lab mad scientist, but who's the lab rat? Who's the one yeah, that's always, always Jake? It's always always, Jake. Jake. always 12, 12 tribes of Jew. Um, what you call it? Israel? I um, almost <laughs> like Kanye West, 12 tribes of Judah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm yeah. 12 tribes of Israel is always going to be an experiment, yeah. you know. Yeah. Connor, man, if I can add, like, even when you look at it, Karab, but um, before you get that, you say those out of search. We have mentioned earlier how. Margaret Singer, how um, how William, you know, kill kills pops. He sat on the board for that, and you know, kill kill our G. He admitted that his father spoke about those things at the dinner table. So when you look at this man over in these countries, especially like Africa, because there's still Jake over there, and he's going over there with so called, you know, he's curing P or he's curing some old shit. The yeah. one thing that the woman complain about is them not being able to produce children anymore. It's sterilizing them, mm -hmm. showing you that it's the same. It's the same thing, man. It's the same yeah. exact thing. Wow. Con, it all falls back into their, you know, these elites, uh, you know, the Georgia guy, guy stones, their first, uh, the agenda, their first yeah. guideline, let's say, you know, to depopulate humanity to 500 million, you know, this is, this is, again, that goes back to even that quote I read from Barbara Max Hubbard, man, they, are the they make the decisions of uh, of, yeah. uh, of the death, you know? I mean, the Lord it says she said God selects and we, you know, we remove or we do, you know, they do the act. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. Come on, real quick, I had seen a video and I think me and the brother Yafalam was going over it. They uh in the video, the guy mentioned he said what what the police officers are to Israelite men is what the doctors are to Israelite women. That's mm. it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. it. Mm. Right on the right on the head. Yeah. Mm. See. And this is this is the inner workings, what they have going in the background at all times, man. That's why brothers need to tighten up in this day, not moving the the, the spirit onto something else. But this is why, man. This is why, because we, as you know, the men of the Lord, we see what's happening. Now, two thirds of our people, they don't they don't know what's going on, man. Their heads up in the air, they're spinning around. It's just like a. A, 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 a show to them. The world is an entertainment resource. Okay? As long as they're here, they're just going to be entertained and live that 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 idiotic uh, lifestyle, bread and circus lifestyle, you yeah. know? That's Everything's right. a distraction, man. Everything. That's, hey, that's why it says in Micah, man, this place is polluted, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. It says a yeah. Vajian part, man. That's spiritually and mentally, man. You know, as an Israelite, man, don't get caught up in the ways of this world because this is filth. This is polluted. It'll destroy you with the sword of destruction, man. There's a scripture for everything. And this is this is why the Lord has gave us this job, a title through the spirit to give you warning, man, to not be ignorant of Esau's devices, man. That's right. When you go to that word devices, as we read in Second Corinthians, the second chapter, it's an evil plot, an agenda. Yep. And we know that their agenda is to destroy, to destroy the, the children of the most high, man. You know, to try to yeah. get his birth, but ultimately the Lord's gonna slap their plans off their, uh, 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 you know, from their uh, agenda. You know, I got a preset. Um, huh. Psalm sixty-four, and I'm gonna start at verse two. It says, "Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, mm -hmm. the insurrection of the workers of iniquity." It says, and 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 you know, to 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 back that up, that's where we have Micah two and one. War right. war to them that divide yeah. iniquity. Work of evil upon their beds, and when the morning is light, they practice it. This is what they do, and they talk about in a secret meeting. Well, that's that's this these G uh 20 summits and all these Bilderberg meetings. You know, the Bilderberg meetings are an important meeting to them because you got all these corporations that uh 
partake in it, man. And they putting poisons in your kids, cereal, mm-hmm. putting poisons in sodas, you know, even just deodorant. deodorant. Just today, you know, I, I just mm-hmm. found out that every human being has little plastic balls in their lungs, man. Where the fuck did that come from? You see? They 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 talk about what they're gonna spray in the air this year or this season for the next three months. We're we're putting barium oxide in the air for the next three months. We're gonna put uh, 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 ammonia in the water for the next three months. We're gonna do uh, uh, uh. look at this devil, man. This devil is he's out of control. Somebody has to stop him, and yeah. we have means or the tools to bring on that destruction to Esau Edom. Do Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right. You know, and because this man, this man has to be stopped ultimately. You know, it, 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 this he, this can't go on, man. This can't go on. That's right. Like a lot of these things that take place is all orchestrated. It's all, all orchestrated. Like the all. You remember, you remember before when water bottles started to become a thing and it was started to get pushed <laughs> out there. You know, that's when I think the oil spill had happened, and mm-hmm. that's when they started pushing forth water bottles. Water, water bottles. bottles. And, yep, that, yep. and now you're drinking water out of water bottle, all right, or plastic, you know. Now you see that, you know, it, that's dangerous in, dangerous in itself, all right. So, hey, man, it's just showing you that every everything that Esau Edom is doing is not because he just uh, didn't think of it. No, everything was already planned out and orchestrated and, and, and laid out for the destruction of our people, all right. That's well, right. I'm go ahead. On. This Psalm I'm 64 and 3. Too. All right, go ahead. Uh, Psalm 64 and 3. I'm going to read, I'm gonna read uh, three more. It says, um, who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot at, shoot their arrows, even bitter words. All yeah. right. And that goes into the propaganda, you know what I'm saying, uh, the stereotypes, you know what I'm saying, uh, everything that they, you know, just to, 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 to basically uh, the proverbs, the bywords, every, all the labels that they put upon us, call us monsters, you know, yeah. savages, whatever it is that they push forth to make us look as uh, to be the worst of the worst, right? But see, they, that's um, that. That goes into that hardest deep thing. Yep. You, see, yep. you notice. <laughs> you, go ahead, read it. Yeah, it says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Hmm. Suddenly, do do they shoot at him and fear not? They encourage themselves in 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 an evil matter. Hmm. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, "Who shall see them?" Hmm. They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thoughts of every one of them, and the heart is deep. Damn. It's, this dude been getting us from the beginning, man. When we yeah. came out the womb, just like it says, we're born into trouble. It's a it's a reason why we're born into trouble. As soon as we this this devil touches us in that hospital, that's that's when all that kicks into his head. It goes into overdrive. Yeah, we gonna we gonna put the baby on this first, and then we are gonna do this, and then uh, uh yeah, when he goes in the school system, we are gonna make him stupid. Yeah, yeah, and then when he comes out, we're gonna show him a gun, and then he's gonna go out and shoot people. Yeah, and then he's going to prison after that, and then after that, he's gonna do this to his baby mama, and it's it's all a calculated plan. This devil has been planning this shit out since the beginning. Hey, real quick, and when it says the heart is deep, think about it. How you think? How do you think they get their plans? They work. They work on the left hand side. They work with that magic, man. That's it. That's right. Hey. I, I know brothers was mentioning the G20 and summits and, and all those uh, hidden meetings, but ultimately these elites have what to, one chair open for Satan to uh, to give them, in yep. you know? So, yep. hey, man, this is all by design. That's that crafty council. They know that war is mainly against Israelites. And this is why our job is to wake up the elect, man, because like the brother mentioned, uh, the only way to be delivered or to uh, to be survived out of this uh, agenda is through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it starts with the prophets waking up the elect, bidding them to the marriage because once the elect is sealed, then the destruction come of Esau Edom's world in heaven, man. You know, yeah. this place can't continue forever, as the scripture says, because if it did, there'll be no flesh be saved. You know? right. Go ahead, um, I got a pre. Um, this is the book of Psalms 141, and uh, I'm gonna go at eight. It says, But my eyes are unto thee, um, O our Lord. And thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me. And mm-hmm. the gins of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets. Whilst mm-hmm. that I will escape. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's ultimately that's 
That's how we got to this this point, man. The spirit of the Lord and brothers got to realize to receive this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's what we we came through, you know. The Lord's always been been with us, you know. He's been rolling the dice for us right. all this time. That's why we obtained what we have because in the scriptures it already says, you know, Jacob have obtained it, mm -hmm. you know. That's that that with blind. Yeah. Blind, you see, and that's yeah. how you know. That's how you know that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has been with certain men throughout their life to get to this point where we can be reading these scriptures and down, you know, down in Esau to a stronghold falls over, okay? Uh -huh. And hey, putting Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai back in that in that rightful place, man. That's right. Hey, to add on to as well, that's that's a, a it's also showing that Yahweh Hashem Shah always been with Israel because of those men. Because the scripture in Isaiah says what Isaiah one and nine says, and at, at least the, well, basically roughly paraphrasing. Um, I get it real quick. Isaiah one and nine. All right, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Isaiah one and nine. Except the Lord of Hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. That's we it. Should have, we should have been as Sodom, and we have should have been like unto Gomorrah. So that showed me that Yahweh Hashem Shah still loved, like the scripture said, um, he had mercy on Jacob, but yet choose Israel. He still loved Israel to the point where he brought forth his prophet, he brought forth his men. He has set forth the apostles last, all right, to push forth the true way of living. Now, although two-thirds is going to die, but guess what? They're going to come back in their right state of mind. But guess what? The nation of Israel is going to be in power because of those men that the Lord had ordained from the beginning to push out his word. All right. Uh -huh. the, the, the scripture says, uh, "Who shall stand up for me against the evil doers?" The Lord yeah, already yeah. selected men. All right, and that's and, and through those men. All right, first and foremost, Yahweh All right, is how the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. The first fruit, the elect. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, our yeah. job is to to lift up Esau's skirt, man. Ultimately, through the spirit and power, Yahweh All Shem Al Shah. That skirt is being his sins being covered, man, being being uncovered, being revealed, his wickedness. And that's why he can't hide himself anymore, man. You know, he had strength in the past with the uh, quote unquote Illuminati, the hidden ones. You know, they did everything in secrecy. But again, all things must be revealed, man. You know, yeah. huh. I got I got I got some more on that Psalm 60, uh, 64. Psalm 64. Yeah, keep on going down. Yeah. But yeah, how about Shimon Shah shall shoot at them with an arrow and suddenly mm. shall they be wounded? Mm. So, so they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And just like that video I had mentioned, you know, let the brother have yeah. had his play, had his watch, you know. It says, yeah. And all men shall fear and shall declare the works of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, for they shall wisely consider his doings. That's the right. righteous shall be glad in the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shah and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. That's right. And that's what that's what we that's what you're seeing. You're seeing the small remnant of men with glory because we're happy that the Lord pulled us out of the the fire. Okay, now as many as many as us get out of the frying pan and away from the fire, a lot of us is the, you know, and I'm talking about the the nation of Israel only is still in there, getting ready to get fried, fried up. You see what I'm saying? By the nuclear missiles, man. But this, that, the, the rest of that sum at the end of it, that's what happened, man. The men that got out of that, we're, we're glorifying the Lord because we, we're happy. We sing praises on to the Lord every day and night and in the middle of the, our, our daily goings in the day that he rescued us from, you know, being sure. docked out in that dull state of mind, you know? Are having fat is so to speak, so you can't hit, you know, and that's that's evidence right there. That's evidence against Esau Edom. Somebody get grab that for me. Uh, 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 uh what's that? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, I think it is. Uh, where it says they, they should start to make inquisition. Okay, come on, come on, come on. That's second Ezra's. Second Ezra's Salaki, yeah. Should start making inquisition of what this devil is doing. This is the only way you can start making inquisitions. And everybody on the earth is doing the same thing. Everybody. 
all these nations, why do you think the nations are mad? Because they started making inquisitions into what this devil is doing, man. Sorry, I, I, go ahead, read it. This is uh, lot, um, this is uh, second Ezra 6 in verse, I'm starting at verse 18, and it said. Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth, mm -hmm. and will begin to make inquisition of them what they what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the afflic affliction of Sion shall be fulfilled. Mm. See? And that's what all these other nations outside of the nation of Israel making inquisition is freeing us, man. It's freeing us from this this devil's grasp, man. You see, because once they start uh, going in on him, he he can't have just uh, uh, focus on us anymore. Now he has to focus on the rest of the nations, and they throwing him off because he always has to keep us under his foot. But he got to take his foot off sometime and try to get on the other nations too. Like, no, no, you can't, uh, you know. So he's going to tear himself in anger, man. He's having a hard time holding down his hegemony that he has put forth on the earth. He's having a whole time putting, um, holding down his doctrine that he didn't spill on the earth. You know what I'm saying? The religion that he put on the earth that's pseudo is fake Christianity. Okay, you can see this man coming apart at, at his seams, man. And this is why when that when them scenes come apart, this is why. He's going to come down with great wrath because he ain't going to care about nothing then. He's just going to be an all-out killer like he was made to be. Okay? And that's what always happens with one that is... Uh, <laughs> with it, like, I'm going to get the uh, definition. It says, uh, for Inquisition, it says a period of prolonged and intensive question and investigation. Okay. Also, another word for it is examination. So when mm. somebody's been examined and has been found out to be the, the, that, that, that criminal, What's the, yep. what's the what they're gonna do? They're not gonna go, uh, uh, you know. They're not gonna just walk into the prison. What they're gonna do is they're gonna fight, all right. And that's what Esau Edom's gonna do. He's gonna he's gonna come now having great wrath because it's time right. to You know that this, this uh, what's coming after is not gonna be good. So, you know, ultimately he's just gonna try to uh, get as much as he can, as many as he can. And that's hey, what and that's, and that's what Salaki wrote. And that's another reason why he's pushed forth this wickedness on a, on a large scale because he knows the outcome of what's coming. All right, these elite know about the scriptures, and they know, and they know exactly what they're trying to do. That's why they're pushing so far, so hard on this uh, NWO. All right, because what's going to come about it is harsh destruction. Even those that take a part of that. All right, right. So, right. So once again, it just shows you that he's in that. If I can't have the world, then nobody can. Yeah, con, con. Hey, that's the spirit I was going to get into. Like, if our people, hey, you still don't want to take heed, and you still want to go after. These snares, or like like the like the article that we was just getting into with the uh, the Planned Parenthood and all that, the the, the Senate coming passing laws. If you Jakes want to join in with the philosophies of this world or the wicked, you're gonna you know you're gonna be thrust through. That's why two thirds of our people must die, man, and be yeah. cut off. But the elect, you know, the one third and the remnant, the you know the 144,000 are not gonna be ignorant of their devices. And we're telling you, there's a better way, you know, and it's through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh but before the kingdom of heaven comes, there's going to be tribulation. Esau, Edom coming down with great wrath. You know, this is his uh, his last fight. He's on the, uh, back, his back's against the ropes. So he's going to yeah. go gun blazing, you know. Right. And, and it's going to be scary times. But the Lord promised that he shall be saved out of it and that he is the elect, you know. Right. I got uh, I got one in Habakkuk. Did y'all read Habakkuk yet? No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, this Habakkuk 2 and 6, it says, Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his, how long unto him that laders himself with thick clay. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, when they start making those examinations, man, that's when that finger is going to start shaking. And, you know, we got the uh, we got the video evidence of that with India. You know, India's prime minister, he was up there shaking that finger mighty hard, man. <laughs> and he was, he was, yeah, he was on him. <laughs> you know? But that's that's the sentiment of the whole free world as we know it now. Okay, that's the right. whole free that's world right. is shaking their fingers at Babylon the Great and the other nation, the devils over there in uh, Israel. Okay? The world is looking, man. 
and they see him, they 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 watch him from afar with binoculars, and they can't wait to make their move on these two uh these two joint nations, so to speak, you know, and this huh. joint just because uh Babylon the Great backs Israel whenever they do uh you know they little war tactics that they pull on people, you know they have been given a a, a checkbook so to speak to kick ass without having to write any uh, checks. They just got the checkbook and they can just go ahead and do whatever they want to do. There's no councils being brought up. There's no uh, no meetings on why they should do. They just feel like anything that's threatening to them, they can just go off the hinges and jump out the window and go ahead and handle that. And nobody says nothing to them. Nobody. But those days are over, man. Those days are over. And it starts, it starts right here, man. It starts with you know, the implosion of Babylon the Great on itself first, man. And that's why, you know, that's why that, that bottom part laid himself with thick clay. Because w once this place runs out of money, and it will. That dollar okay, crash. Yeah. That dollar crash. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, that, that's it. That's yeah. it for America. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, I got, I got a quick reason for you. Real quick, uh, these other nations in the right, man, and the on the right hemisphere, they already that's that taunting proverb. They're saying they're the great Satan, you know, the DTA yeah. the kids and their you know military, you know, sc screaming and rooting DTA, you know, death of America. This is the, the sentiment of the Lord putting the spirit on these other nations to 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 have that evil eye towards America, man. Uh, you know, yeah. that's why he's giving them ready for war. This is why you see uh uh, st uh, strategic drills, missiles, and joint military drills. Hey, this is all of the hand of the Heavenly Father putting that spirit into these other nations to get ready for war with that uh, hammer of the whole earth. Yeah, beat their plowshares into a uh, uh, sword. 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 Yeah. I got something to back you up, Tazi Alpha. You brought that out. This is Obadiah 1 and 6. It says, How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things saw up? And when you mm -hmm. look up the definition for the word sought up, all right, it goes into um, searched out. It also goes into inquire. So once again, I will begin to make inquisition upon mm -hmm. those that had, uh, basically deal unjustly. All right. This is, it's, it's ultimately through Yahweh Shemel Shah, how the hidden things of Esau are sought up. That's right? right. The exposing, and, and, exposing of them. Yep. That's right. And they, they don't see the thing that the men of the Lord, we have an ourselves to is the 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 blessings that uh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has given this man is cutting his own throat. So he's hanging himself. He's hanging himself, he's cutting his own head off, all the above, man. If, if how can you make GMO fools, right? And you're you're a human too, but we know you get the best of everything, right? But if you're sitting around poisoning everybody else around you, don't you think it's going to be a matter of time before the poison comes to your front door too? Exactly. He's going to fall upon <laughs> his own like, yeah. It says that in the He's going to fall upon his own snare, man. Yeah, he's no. stupid. <laughs> also, also, and abortions. Now you got most white, uh, quote unquote, eat a white woman doing that as well, man. Hey, it goes with the, the, the missile. That too. You, know, so you create it. And now look what look what the look what the sentiment is now. Now you got now you got a crazy a crazy Edomite raving around like it's a stick. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I do this with it. I can do this. Maybe y'all do that. It's like Homer Simpson shooting off big caps with it. <laughs> just, recently, just recently, uh, what's his name? Kim Jong Un said that he's willing to use the ICBM preemptively, meaning like if, if he feels threatened, he's ready to shoot it off. Hey. Well, yeah. So that's that's something, yeah, that's something they're gonna have to deal with. This ultimately the Lord once again bringing forth that 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 same sneer that they laid out for us is is now coming upon them. And it's a and see, another thing that people don't understand too is, uh, I think it was uh, NATO, NATO approved intermediate intermediate uh, nuclear weapons. So that means that no longer uh, ICBM has to go out of the atmosphere to come back into the atmosphere, but they made it so that a one nation can fire a nuke in the surface of the earth onto another nation. They signed that bill as kind of a threat to, to, 
Putin yeah. before yeah. before this Ukraine thing ever happened. Probably was like three or four months before that, you know. And Putin heard of it, and his eyes got raised, and he was like, "Oh yeah." So what have they been working on? They've been working on hypersonic missiles that fly in the earth, right? Got China, you got uh, North Korea, and then Putin. What's going to be on those those hypersonic missile uh, tips of them? What's going to be on them on the tip of them? Since NATO already signed the paperwork that it could happen, they're going to put nukes on the end of those low flying missiles. See, Amen. like I just said, they 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 do shit to harm themselves. Yeah. So they, there you go. You can't you can't get away from it. The the Lord has put a has hardened their heart to do wicked, but it's only going to afflict them, just like it says in Job. Yeah. yeah. And that also goes back to, what is that, uh, Ecclesiastes, the book of Sirach, the 10th chapter, the first verse. Basically, in the second verse, it says, an unwise king uh, destroy, basically destroyed his people. Yeah. Uh, why is that? Because, once again, when you create things like that, you're not factoring the, the, the people that you're governing over. You're not factoring the earth that you supposed to have control over. Uh, All right. That's why in the kingdom of heaven, when Yahweh Hashem uh, established the kingdom of heaven upon earth with his uh, governing body, all right, what happens? That's what the scripture says. There's going to be no more wars. All right, everything else is going to be uh, uh, it's going to go back to how it's supposed to be, and then the people is going to rejoice because the scripture says when the righteous are in authority, people rejoice, but when the wicked fear rule, the people mourn. All right, so that's showing you that first you got to get rid of those mechanisms. That can bring forth destruction. You're going to burn up all the missiles, all the guns, all these things that Esau had created. You got to get rid of those. Why? Because what we're pushing for is life. What we, What's going to be <coughs> the kingdom of heaven is longevity. It's going to be a, a duration. Fruitful of time. Multiplying. Yeah, yeah. Fruitful, multiple, uh, multiplication. Yeah. Multi That's you know, right. Get multiplied. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. What to? You got something else? Nah. I'm good. Yakalam, you got anything? No. Hey, man. So once again, you know, that was a beautiful uh, uh, lesson, you know, and we did it through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. And uh, <clears throat> like you say, double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. You want to say Shalom. Bob Ball, Bob Ball, and Yasharala. Yasharala.